Thanks for joining us and welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to set up Optex's new red tail spotting scope, how to turn it on, get connected, and focus in on your target in just a few easy steps. This usually takes about five minutes the first time, and it's even faster after that. If this is the first time you've used your red tail, and if you haven't yet installed the red tail app from either Google Play or Apple's App Store, go ahead and do it now. It's a free download and installs as you would any other app. Once that's installed, we're ready to proceed. So first off, let's go ahead and open the Redtail case. It's a double latch, so you need to squeeze and pull forward the front and back of each latch. Do that for each latch, and it'll open right up. Inside the case, you'll find everything you need, along with your Wi-Fi-enabled smartphone or tablet, to be up and running in just a few minutes. I've taken the antenna out of the case, removed the small black plastic covering on the Red Tail's antenna connection, and then attached the antenna. It screws right in. I've also mounted the Red Tail to the tripod that's included in your kit. It's a good idea to have your Red Tail stable on a firm base and secure to sh avoid the pitcher from shaking. Getting the camera ready is as easy as taking off the front lens cap and then at the back of the red tail, turning on the camera. To switch the power on, move the switch located at the back and on the top of the red tail to the right. You're moving it to the red tail's Wi-Fi position. When you do this, you'll see the green power light come on. Once that's done, just leave the camera powered up and we'll get back to it in a minute. In case you don't see a green light, the Red Tail's battery is fully rechargeable by connecting it using the micro USB connection. The AC adapter and cable are included in the case and the USB connection can be found at the bottom here. Of course, if you need it, you can connect the Red Tail to a power source while we continue the setup. Next, we'll connect the Red Tail to your handheld device and that's done in a couple of steps. The first is for you to go to the Wi-Fi settings on your smartphone or tablet. Open that up and you're looking for available networks in range. You want to select the network that says Redtail with some numbers after it. That's the identifier for your Redtail camera. Go ahead and connect to the Redtail network. Some devices might call it the SSID. You're looking for the one that says Redtail. Go ahead and connect. While you're doing this, Go ahead and take a quick look at the back of the red tail camera as it connects. You'll start to see the blue light flashing. That's a good sign as it indicates that your handheld and camera are now communicating. At this point, you're ready to open up the red tail app you've just installed on your smartphone or tablet. Go ahead, open it up and you'll see four icons. Select the first one, the one that looks like a lens. Once it's open, you'll see the image has been broadcast from the red tail camera. It's probably out of focus and blurry, but that's easy to correct. The last step is to show you how to focus using the lens on your red tail scope. The simplest, quickest way is to get a clean, clear, crisp picture is to turn the lens to the longest length and then twist back until you focus in on a sharp, clear image. Now you've got a live picture and you're looking down range. If you want to expand the image larger, then you can zoom in and out using the finger gestures, just like you would any other photo. You can save your photos and videos using the controls on the bottom of the screen. The small icons at the bottom of the screen show a camera, video camera, and folder. Take a look in the Redtail manual for more information and additional advanced features. That's it, you and your Redtail are now connected. Thanks for joining me and more information about your red tail. Be sure and look for other red tail videos on YouTube.